What up? I'm at E Kuta Road. It's nighttime. I'm blind at night, so I got the glasses. I know I'm a nerd, or I look like a nerd. Actually, I am a nerd. I like nerdy things, anime, whatever, manga, comic books. Anyways. It's pretty exciting looking out here, so I decided to do a little film for y'all. Super Junkala. That's a Christmas tree. Tokyo Han is a very useful store. It has like a little bit of everything. I've actually never been here before. I just kind of bumped into this place walking around. Wow. Tell me it doesn't look like New York a little bit. Hotels, hotels. They probably mean love hotels, I'm guessing. So this tree here looks like it's questionable. I could be wrong, but it has love hotels. So that's kind of a good indicator. Check it out. Spider-Man. Sorry the video is a little shaky or even terrible quality. iPhones are not really good at night quality, but it's good enough to get the gist of what's going on here. Okay, a club. Club can typically indicate uh, many things. More likely a strip club. In places like this, you're gonna find gentlemen's clubs, drinking bars, you know, you're gonna find a lot of things that are questionable, like red light districts, you know. It's more prominent in like Yokohama and Tokyo though. And of course you're gonna find Spider-Man everywhere. Spider-Man. Here's another club, FB, FBI, <laughs> the FBI club, that's, that's kind of weird. So if you're FBI, go ahead and feel free. I must admit Yokohama was much more interesting. You know, I got approached by questionable girls all the time, every single day. Here it's nah, nah. Gypsy bar, you have to wonder. I love anime, but why is it called the Gypsy bar? Okay, 60 minutes is $40. I'm guessing it's one of those bars where the girls might dress as gypsies. You pay the money and they'll sit there and pretend like they like you. Yeah, I'm not sure if Kiko would like that. Especially making this video, she'd be like, so where were you? And I'd be like, uh, I was just walking. You went to the gypsy bar, didn't you? I'd be like, maybe. Show me your wallet. I'd be like, why? So yeah, that's what happens when you put all your life online. Everyone sees it. I'll give you an example of this, okay. So, Kiko's family doesn't speak English. I speak a little Japanese, enough to get by. So when I posted the video, my very first video ever, and it shows me kissing a girl, they were all kind of like, what the peep? You know, like, they thought it was like more recent. So they were like, asking my wife who was asking me, and I told her, and she's like, oh, okay, whatever. And then she explained it, but still, they didn't know. And she's just like, well, they were trying to be supportive and watch your channel too, and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, okay, that, that makes everything very awkward. Because I never expected them to watch my channel. This looks like Don Quixote, or whatever they call it. There we go. Okay, we're going. You shop here, always have weird things. Why? I don't know. Convenient things too, but weird things. <laughs> These are the weird stuff. And Christmassy stuff. Don't hate me because you want to be me. You're this sexy and I know it. Up into the club. I want to wear this at work. Like I want to get ordered, but like, how can I help you? And when they talk about it, I just want to act like, you know, I don't have it on. <laughs> so recently, Gaijin Pa, I usually use that. It's a yeast and I don't know more. You like my handlers? So so once I get my girl, I can fight them with these battle handlers. 
But anyways, they sent me a job to be Santa, and I'm sitting there thinking like, you know, I don't think I'm the right color to be Santa. I mean, I can do it, but the kids might be confused. I like this section. I might show this to you, Kiga. Do you want to do alcohol? I can do alcohol. Let's make it quick, I'm gonna show you alcohol. You have a lot of alcohol. Starting from the top, Southern Comfort, Kahlua, all the alcohol you'd ever want. And hold up, let's check out the prices. Let's do uh, Southern Comfort. 20 bucks that big bottle so you get toasted. You have alcohol I haven't even seen before. All right, you got gin right here. See, I can afford to be an alcoholic here. I can afford it. I don't drink, but I can afford it. That's all that matters. So if I ever change my mind, no problem. Look at that. It's all affordable. It's crazy. I found stairs. What kind of weird maze building is this? I have no idea where I'm going. Today, Emily was so upset because she didn't have a single balloon. Look at this. I should just buy her all these balloons. It's only like 10 bucks. Then she'll have balloons forever. Her mom was pissed. Uh, can't go there. Okay, let's start with costumes. What we got? Anything interesting? Could be a Power Ranger, I guess. Uh, could try to get into some kind of kindergarten. I don't think it would work though. This makes more sense to me. I feel like this every day. I don't know why I would buy an afro when I can grow one. But it'd still be kind of funny, I guess. So I can't grow a green one, but you know. Old woman. I guess this is a butt pillow, like literally someone's butt. Section is maybe some people's fantasies. Not really mine, but I'm gonna show you anyways. Like, you know, that whole little schoolgirl anime thing. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Check it out. These are actually costumes. So you can get your girl to wear the little schoolgirl outfit. I honestly have no idea why it's popular. Military police into the role playing. Sexy bunny, kimono, schoolgirl, pink checkered version. Wow. Usually, by far, the most interesting section of any Japanese store is the workout section. I don't know why they have some weird things. Some things that they don't look like workout stuff. You're like, hey, hey, what is that? I think this is the biggest bag of chips I've ever seen. Like, you like want some chips? <laughs> it's huge, right? Am I wrong? Do a comparison, okay? Like my leg versus the chips. Okay, it's the same length. For you brony people, you know what? I'm buying this family. She loves. What is her name again? I know. I want to see Sparkle. We make across the street this incredibly dangerous one way street that I probably shouldn't walk across. That's okay. Baskin Robbins. I'm just curious what it looks like in there. Eh, it's pretty average. <laughs> Kobe Sauna and Spa. That's where I should probably go. I have to look. That. Awesome. Wonder how much? Oh, we'll chase this with me. I'm from Seattle, so there you go. It's a reference to Seattle. Starbucks is always packed. Every single day. Right next to Starbucks is another coffee shop that's completely empty. <laughs> I must admit, I don't know how other vloggers do it. Like, I've seen some vloggers, they literally will talk for an hour, like, but every single small detail, every particle in the air, and I think that's ridiculous. I like to show and tell a little, you know what I mean? But every minute of every second, which is fine if you're really good at talking, I'm okay at talking. I just assume you get tired at some point. I have no idea what they are, but they look really cool. 
Okay, so it's $21 for 9 o'clock till 6 in the morning singing karaoke by myself in a huge, nice room. I'm very tempted, but I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna walk down back alleys that I've never been before that could be possibly dangerous or not. So that concludes the night tour. Uh, I think I'm lost. If there's no more uh, updates, it's because I, I probably got murdered. But if I didn't, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.